Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. Uh, shooting a little bit different kind of video today. Want to do a little unboxing um, of a product I picked up uh, a few days ago from A Main, and this is an ESC. It's the Hobbywing Quick Run 10BL120. As you can see here, it's a 128, 120 amp ESC, and uh, I'm really excited about this product because it looks like kind of maybe a potential for the best budget ESC on the market today. So those of you who don't know, Hobbywing is actually a pretty large manufacturer of ESCs. They, they make the ESCs for a lot of the other companies out there like Arma. So they're kind of the OEM brand um, that you don't really know about, but they also have their own line of ESCs. And I generally run e Hobbywing ESCs in all my vehicles. But I saw this uh, come out a few months ago and was really excited because it looks like um, a really quality ESC for not a lot of money. So this sells for $55. That's what I picked it up from Amin. Um, it's a 110 scale, 120 amp ESC. It's censored, it's brushless, it's programmable, it's got a fan, um, it's not like super huge or anything. And so, uh, you know, I decided to pick one up and do a little unboxing video. Um, so we'll kind of get into it here and show you what is inside the box. So you can see the little fancy uh, hologram there, show you it's an authentic Hobbywing product. On the back, a little uh, UPC logo there, and it says small size and lightweight, but big current endurance. And the censored based EC has excellent control feel, has adjustable timing, blah, 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 professional races. So uh, looking at this, um, I was actually kind of surprised, or not really surprised, but I did notice that this actually looks very similar to an EC that Hobbywing used to uh, make, which was the Hobbywing V2.1. And the Hobby V2.1 was also 120 amp ESC. I had several of those. I think I had three or four of those through the years. And you know, it's a pretty solid ESC, um, but that one actually retailed for somewhere around 80, $85. And this one is $55. And kind of looking at the specs, um, it actually looked like maybe, you know, a slightly upgraded uh, version of the V2.1. So um, kind of looking at the case, plastic case, quick run 10BL 120 amp. Uh, censored. Um, it looks very, very similar to the V2.1. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, maybe the board or some of the components are same and maybe they just sort of updated some of the stuff. So, um, as you can see, 12 gauge uh, wiring. That's very nice. Um, I think the V2.1 was 14 gauge, if I recall correctly. Got a nice little uh, two bank capacitor uh, on off switch. Um, looks very similar, standard hobby wing, and then your little plug for the ESC. So uh, the fan on top um, is basically just kind of screwed down into the heat sink. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. You know, not too big, not too small. This is going to be something that's really good for like a two wheel drive, 10 scale, um, you know, mod vehicle. Maybe you've got a five and a half turn, six and a half turn, seven and a half turn motor. Um, I'm not sure it would really run very well with like a four pole motor, really so more for a two pole, um, you know, 10 scale, two wheel drive vehicle. Let's see what else is in the box. Got some zip ties, got some little shrink wrap and some little double side tape. And then here's the manual and some stickers. So let's kind of take a look at the manual real quick. So I noticed the manual was different than the V2.1 manual. So I guess they are different products, but um, you know, looking at them, they look very similar. So uh, it tells you how to install it. And so some of the specs, it basically runs four to nine cell nickel metal hydride, 2S or 3S LiPo capable, six volt, three amp uh, BEC, really, really nice. Um, censored or sensorless. So it looks like it's made for, you know, touring buggy F1 drift, but um, it's really meant for on-road or off-road. You can kind of see the, uh, turn motors that it supports there. So on 2S LiPo, you know, you can basically run down to like a four and a half turn motor for your off-road vehicle. So that's pretty cool. Uh, some of the stuff you can actually adjust, uh, running mode, you know, forward verse or forward and brake uh, only. Drag. So it's got adjustable drag force, adjustable low voltage cutoff. So, you know, when your LiPo's 
getting down in the voltage, uh, it'll it'll shut off so it doesn't completely destroy your battery. Uh, it's got punch control, which is really nice. It's basically kind of the instantaneous power that first gets applied when you first uh, pull the trigger. Uh, drag brake force, reversing force, initial brake force, throttle range, and then adjustable timing. I don't think my V2.1 had adjustable timing. I can't recall exactly, but I'm pretty sure it didn't. And so this one does. So pretty cool. Um, you know, you can just timing on the ESC. So yeah, pretty cool little product, um, quite inexpensive. And so I'm pretty excited about this. I'll probably run this maybe in my slash with like a eight and a half, seven and a half turn motor or something like that. Um, and so yeah, pretty excited about it overall. So anyways, check this out if you're looking for like a budget ESC that still does a lot of amps, can still handle a mod motor, and you know, you wanna run in like a 10 scale vehicle. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this ESC if you've used it. Um, Please like this video, subscribe to my channel as always, and thanks for watching. Bye now.